Right. So I've gotten asked this question probably five times in the last like 48 hours. And I wanted to shoot this video because a lot of coaches ask me about taking loans for uh, facility costs, uh, taking loans to start a new business. Um, and I just want to give you just a very simple way of approaching this for you and your business. And I think this has helped me so much in my business career um, up to this point. And I've seen coaches that have taken what I'm about to show you and it really pay off heavily for them. And I've also seen people do the opposite of what I'm about to show you in this video. And I think it's really hurt them, right? So I'm not going to try to say that I'm right, you're wrong, uh, but I have a lot of experience in this business. And I want to try to just teach you a couple of things in this video about taking loans. And is that going to be the, uh, the right call for you? All right, so here's the first thing. And I've talked about this on a previous YouTube video, but if you are doing everything outside right now, and you want to do everything inside, what you need to be able to do first, before you get a facility, before you take out a loan, before you even think about doing that, is we have to make sure that whatever's coming into the business needs to be at least four times more than what it's going to cost to have the facility per month. So a very simple way of looking at this, if the facility is $2,000 per month, your business is making at least $8,000 per month before expenses. Now, if that's the case, you going into the facility, like if you need to take a loan, for example, uh, to get money for like, let's say you're a basketball trainer, you're going to get money for uh, flooring, you're going to get money for the baskets, you're going to get money for um, hanging up TVs, like you're going to get money for redoing the bathroom, like wh whatever it is you're going to be doing inside the facility. Uh, we need to make sure that there's at least four times of the rent that's coming in per month into the business before you even step in. And the reason why I tell you this is because so many coaches end up getting loans with money that they don't have, meaning they don't have a profitable business where money's just coming in every month. They are just like hoping that money's going to come in. They don't have systems in place. So when they go take a loan, they're putting themselves and their families in a really bad financial position because they're going to have to go pay these loans back. And if you don't have regular income that's coming into the business, those loans become a thousand times more stressful. Okay. So that's my first rule of thumb is four times the amount of rent is already coming into the business before you go into the facility. Now, here's the second thing, and this is so blunt, but this is how it is. Too many coaches that I talk to, they have the dream and they have the ambition to go get a facility. And they think that is going to save and change their business forever. The reality is it's not going to save your business. It's going to put you under a lot more pressure. So what we need to be able to do is be very smart when you go and actually look at facilities. You need to be smart and look at all the numbers. And oftentimes, and this is what I'm seeing right now in the present day of 2000. 24, I'm in September shooting this video. The most successful coaches that I work with are the ones that have the most profitable businesses. All right, let me say that again. The most successful coaches that we work with are the ones that have the most profitable business. They're not the ones that have the biggest revenue numbers, right? You can make a million dollars per year in this business, but if, you're if your profit sucks, what's the point? Like, what's the point of all that money, all right? And I know coaches that have very... Uh, big numbers in revenue, but their overhead is way, 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 way more than it needs to be. And if they just cut down on that revenue, and oftentimes it's having a, a facility that's way too expensive. Uh, if they cut down on that, their business is way more profitable without having to get any new clients. All right. Uh, and I'll use a, an example. There's a guy that we interviewed on our YouTube channel. It's a pretty popular interview. His name's Coach Ness. He doesn't own a facility. He has worked out a deal with like the school system in his area and he pays very low rent hourly. Uh, he doesn't need to have a, a, a big facility and he's able to operate a very high six figure per year business, very high six figure per, uh, per year business. And one of the reasons why is because it's so profitable, right? It's, he's not having to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars per month on rent. I mean, I know coaches right now are spend 10 K a month on rent. All right, that might sound insane to you, uh, but 
you know, that's that's what they want to do. And right off the bat, at the beginning of the month, got to pay that money. All right, that's that's coming out of their business every single month. That is before ads. That is before any other marketing. That is before doing anything. So those coaches better be making 40K a month uh, if, if they're following through with the plan that I just laid out. All right, so uh, hope those, hopefully those two things help you. Now, here's the other thing um, about borrowing money. And this is just my philosophy. It's like, I only want to do that if I know it's going to like speed up the process of meeting to my goal. So like, let me give you an example. Let's say everything lines up. Um, the facility, let's say the facility is $3,000 per month. Okay. So if it's 3K per month, I know that I'm probably going to have to buy a bunch of equipment, going to have to buy a bunch of stuff. Like, let's say it's, I'm just going to say a big number. Let's say it's $100,000 to do that. Okay. This is how I look at it. And this is a, a personal view, right? Most people don't do this, but this is how I look at it. I would look at it like, okay, if I can go borrow $100,000 and I know that my business is making at least $12,000 per month, right now before i go into the facility i know if i go borrow that money and i get good terms on that like i i have obviously i'm gonna have time to pay that off but i know if i'm if i'm calculated with my business where i'm like okay i'm gonna take a lot of the profit that i'm making to pay off this thing fast then it makes sense for me to pay off or to make sense for me to get the loan because i already have the money that's coming in um and by going into a new facility, I should be able to grow and expand my my client base. And I should also have other revenue streams coming in from that facility because I can rent it out. I can put up advertising. I can do all this other stuff to bring in a lot more than I would be if I was doing this business purely outside. Okay. But getting a loan and that with that sort of mindset of paying it off quickly because I'm going to be drafting from the profits if it's that profitable, it makes sense because. I don't go into the loan with a bunch of, of pressure because I'm like, yeah, like I'm going to go borrow this. It's going to pay for all of this stuff and it's going to quickly do that. But the business is already profitable. So like it makes sense for me to take the loan. Now, if that doesn't make sense, then, then an even more frugal way of doing it is over the course of a year. All right, let's say your business is doing three times or sorry, four times the amount of, of what you want to pay in rent. Then over the course of the year, you stash away a lot of the profits. And instead of getting a loan, you use that money to go pay cash. And I would say nine, nine ten times out of 10 in my life, I don't care what it is, I'm paying cash. And the reason why is because when you pay cash, you have zero stress. All you're doing is you're just being smart with your money. Um, and you're being smart with the profits. And you utilize that to pay for cash versus having to take a loan. And the last thing that I want to say on, on this video, if you're just starting your business, the worst thing that you can do is go take a loan. Like this, this is not the type of business where you know, need to go get a bunch of money to start. And to go get a facility before you have clients it's that's probably one of the dumbest things you can do. And if you if you watch our channel, you should already know this by now. But they, we need to at the beginning of your business, we need to focus on getting clients and getting those clients good results and keeping those clients happy so they stay and they bring in new customers and then reinvesting some of that money into ads, reinvesting some of that money into uh bringing in new customers. Like this, this is a business, like any other business, gotta have happy customers. Um, and you got to be smart with your finances. And to go get a facility on day one, it doesn't matter who you are. I don't care if you're Michael Jordan. I don't care if you're Tiger Woods. Like to go do that from day one is not a good move. Um, we want to focus on getting clients. And then if you're going to go get a facility, it's because you need to have one at that point. And that means you've already done all the investigation of looking at every church, looking at every school, looking at every organization, looking at every club team. Like you've looked at every little facility in your area and you, you've realized, okay, in order for me to grow my business, I got to have my own thing. And I'm already making four times the amount of rent. So it makes sense for me to do this. All right. So hopefully this helps. And uh, 
Do you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help with your business? Go right below this video. You'll see my phone number there. Feel free to text me and happy to chat. See you later.